Hi guys, my name is Natalie aka DJ Envy aka Scatterly 2.0 and welcome to my YouTube channel. Do give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you follow me on my Instagram, Soundcloud and Mixcloud pages you should know that I'm a D&B and party DJ. I'm also a classically trained violinist but also I've got another preoccupation where I like to sometimes indulge a little bit. Uh, when I say a little bit, it might be a lot, <laughs> in luxury fashion purchases. Not that it's anything that I'm proud of because this video is about luxury fashion purchase regrets, okay? And I've got a list of at least six to seven items where I am going to show you what I have bought and then realizing after a while, after several months or even after a year that I haven't really worn them. I also got a website, www.sheiscalledenvy.co.uk. So without procrastinating any longer, let's dive straight into it. This is the first item which I have here. This is from the Fendi Fundaci collaboration which was launched in May 2022. I actually bought this from the pop-up shop at Harrods. Um, and as you can see, this is a very loud, obnoxious piece, which I instantly fell in love with when I obviously saw it online. But then when I brought it back home and then realised that I have worn it possibly once and then it's just been sat there in my wardrobe. As you can see, it's got this um, ostentatious, very loud, very big uh, branding at the back as well as the front. It takes the idea of being a logo ho uh, to a whole new level. Um, as you can see, it's not really one of those casual pieces that you'd be able to wear on a day to day basis if you are going to go round a corner to uh, Sainsbury's or, you know, Waitrose to buy two pints of milk. Someone will be able to see you walking down the street towards them looking like and resembling a highlighter pen. All you need to do is find someone who's wearing some neon yellow and bright green and you can look like a highlighter pen pack. I do love this but it's so loud and so in your face and so anti quiet luxury that it is just a little bit you know a little bit much but this was the only piece really in the whole collection that I instantly fell in love with and then after about um, a few months I just realised that um, it was just collecting dust in my wardrobe. Do you know what I was going to put it back in in this um but i might as well wear it so i would say if anyone was going to consider purchasing anything by fendi or even versace possibly to go a size up because this is this is very fitted okay so the next item that i've got here is uh, by versace i'm realizing there's a correlating theme here because just because i like something and it happens to be by a certain brand doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be something which is functional practical or usable so why don't we do a random uh, segment where uh, it looks like as if I'm unboxing these pair of shoes am I going to fall in love with them again let's have a look there's a lot of tissue paper here and let me tell you this box is hefty these are the Versace um, tri-platform wedges as you can see they are a uh, very interesting shape. I'm not quite sure um, who in their right mind thought it would be okay for a woman to wear a pair of shoes which happens to be this height. Once you wear them I'm sure it will be like putting on a pair of torture devices because these are not only extremely high there isn't much padding here so they're actually quite uncomfortable. Also these strips of leather here they're actually quite quite sturdy quite robust but you know that when you're going to be um, prancing round on the dance floor or when you're getting your kebab these strips of leather they're going to really be digging into your foot your toe will feel like as if it's being amputated off and the uh, blood circulation will be very very limited it's it looks gorgeous but just not practical um, I've had this listed on eBay as well as Viesta Collective um, I will put links to those pages below if anybody wants to give these a good home as you can see um, they're completely unworn, brand new, um, as the day that they were purchased. Um, you've got the Medusa head here, you've got the little safety pin detail, the little um, bucklers. I really did not scrimp with the packaging because this box is just something else. 
I know some people will deliberate and they will argue that this is not really a designer brand or a luxury um, but I did buy this from uh, Selfridges online. These are the vaults um, over the knee stud embellished uh, boots which are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah I mean I, just to look at them they're absolutely great but um, as you can see they are unworn in really good condition and if anybody would be interested in purchasing these, uh, they are also on eBay. Uh, we'll post them on Vestier Collective and I will leave all of the links in the comments box below. Okay, so uh, let's continue with this theme of unused footwear. Just because you got another offering from a familiar and well-recognized um, brand, it doesn't necessarily mean that is something that you should purchase because. <laughs> It might be the case where you would actually, you know, uh, end up owning the item and then when you get it home you realise you've got no use for it. Such as this particular <laughs> pair of boots. Again, I seem to be boots, over the knee and knee high boots obsessed, but then not wearing them, which is obviously kind of defies the whole point. But these, I remember seeing them online and just... Um, having just staring at the boots because I knew that at the price point that they were um, I wasn't going to buy them at all and then I noticed um, on flannels um, occasionally they have flash sales and sometimes you don't know what's going to be in the on those uh, what items are going to be listed on those flash sales and uh, how much that's going to be but these ended up being I think 75% off the original price if not less I think I even had a gift code or I had store credit to um, make a reasonable purchase, which I, uh, which is what I thought at the time. And because as you can see, these are very um, bold, uh, very in your face, and uh, very uh, Pirates of the Caribbean-esque um, style boots. Is that something that I thought was a good idea at the time? Yes, but in reality, was that something that I was able to pull off and actually use? No, but uh, the leather is absolutely insane. The only downside to these boots is that the um, shoe size is actually extremely small. So this, these pair of boots actually fit like a size three or three and a half, not a size four, even though I did buy them in a size UK size four. Go to shoe or even go to another um, high street shoe shop and buy something similar for a fraction of the price. You don't want to wear this when it's snowing, raining, or uh, if it's a wet or windy outside, only because uh, there's hardly any grip at the bottom at all. Um, so you don't want to be slipping around all over the place. And But at least you have shin and knee protection. So I guess that's the only uh, plus side to that. Okay, this will, uh, isn't really an item which I regret purchasing, because let me tell you, the quality and the design is absolutely, you know, second to none. The um, leather hasn't cracked, there's no imperfections, apart from a little bit of uh, colour transfer. This thing is as brand new as the day that I bought it. The condition is absolutely pristine. And let me tell you, I have used and abused this thing, um, and I've used it pretty much on a daily basis which I'm a little bit ashamed about admitting, um, only because it's been uh, designed by one of the most controversial brands out there at the moment, P&G, Dolce and Gabbana. At the moment, I'm just wearing it, you know, uh, just because of the pure functionality and practicality of the belt. Another brand which is marred with controversy is um, Balenciaga and the Gucci and Balenciaga Aria and Hacker Project launched um, and I was deliberating whether I should one uh, go to the boutique uh, which was a pop-up store in Shoreditch in London or to attend a dentist appointment uh, I chose the latter over the former because I had to rein in Scatley 2.0 that day. This was one of the items which I bought, and this was a silk scarf from the Hacker Project, which I absolutely love. And I've been wearing this quite frequently, but only because of the subsequent Valencia Yaga 
controversy. I don't want anyone thinking that I am wearing this and thinking that I support the brand and their business decisions because when it comes to, you know, I guess topics around that, um, you know, I guess it's so controversial and so concerning that I don't really want to be associated with that. So I've realised that I have been wearing this um, not as often as I initially did when I first bought it. But it's still a gorgeous, lovely um, product, a great quality, um, very versatile. Obviously, you've got the uh, Balenciaga branding and then the Gucci uh, double G logo. If you are like me and you just realise that half of the things that you have bought, you are actually not using and this actually makes you a little bit concerned, then, you know, I am also... <laughs> <laughs> guilty of that or if you're in the um other camp who um happens to be a little bit more um aware of their actions and you've got um, a couple of items in your cart that you've been deliberating over for the last few months or few days or over the last few hours um and you haven't pulled the trigger yet let me tell you it might seem a good idea at the time but then you end up uh with um, a constant reminder of the questionable and expensive life decisions that you have made. Um, if you did like this video, uh, do share it, uh, make sure that you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the next YouTube upload is up online. Um, do have a little butchers on, at my blog at www.sheescalledenvy.co.uk. Give me a follow on Instagram as well. Uh, uh, and if you did have any thoughts about this, then pop it in the comment section below. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.